Yo, hey, what's up, guys? This is Aura. Hey, check it out. My gym, workaguru.net. I have a bunch of resistant bands, and that's the reason why. Great tool, number one. Efficient, number two. Price-wise, cheaper than any type of weights, pound by pound. And you can buy a bunch, and you can use it anywhere in your house, garage, gym, outdoors, camping, trip, hotel, room, whatever you go. So, great addition to standard weightlifting program, powerlifting, or stronger lifting, prehab, rehab, training. Reason why, inconsistent amount of weight through the motion. You pull, you apply more tension, you apply more resistance on your muscle. Joint saver, why? Fully stretch on your shoulder, right? Fully stretch, what happened right there? Before you, before you, the muscles stretch, before you stretch the band, your joints are affected. And when you pull forward, now you utilizing your muscle, less joint, now you're using your muscle, now you apply resistance to your workout. It helps protect you from pulling something out of place, ripping, pulling, rupturing muscle tendons, and helps you with uh, your overall, you know, especially if you all this I am help. Yeah. I'm gonna demonstrate you a couple ways to do it. Uh, I have a rock here. I have those fancy pants I put them through. Uh, you don't need fancy rock, you can have just doorway and get one of those like different hooks or whatever, little straps you can put and snap them. They sell it all over the place. Do your research. They come with the nice handles, also straps that can go around the ankle or there's so many ways to train. I just want to introduce you to this type of training so you guys know it's out there and uh, help you out because I've been doing it. And, uh, and especially going through different routines, it's reward, reward, reward rewarding in the long in the long run. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate so you guys few simple workouts, bench, you know have a bench or fencing equipment or bar or dumbbells. There you go. Just bring it in. Right? You wanna do arms, it's a different way to do it. You can put it right here, do it this way, right? You can get two handles, you can step on it, use one, one bend. Use it, you can use it this way, right? So many exercises you can do, right? You want to do shoulders, or you have to just make sure you're standing right in the middle. So you get same resistance. Shoulder military presses. You want to do your lateral races. Front races. You want to do squats? You can do squats. You want to do deadlift? You also can do deadlift. You have to just figure out how much resistance you need. Right? You can step on that thing, right? Well, so many things you can do. My favorite. What I do, in addition to my weight training, is fly from the chest because I ruptured my pec a year ago in Sonata Convention Center. 
And then you've got a strong competition. And uh, I do not like Dan Cherry no more. So uh, I do not recommend men over 40, actually men over 30, do heavy bench. I was really strong in five plates in the late 20s, early 30s. And uh, there's really no reason, there's really, really no reason to uh, perform heavy lifts in the older age. But uh, what I do usually, I do my arms, bicep, tricep, and I transition to resistant bands to kill it. So this is one of my favorite bicep workouts. Do both arms, right? And then I transition later after so many sets, let's say four or 16. The tricep workout, right? Push it away and then I pull it away. It's a great workout, right? Do this and uh, extension, tricep extension is for great. Right there, very good. You know, as you guys know, if you want to grow your arms and you lift a lot, a lot of reps, you guys gonna find that uh, your elbows start developing more tennis, elbow and uh, tendons. They uh, basically warning out, wearing out, tearing, stuff like that. And uh, it just over the time, you have to wear sleeves or something and resistant bands. It's a good way if you do one, two exercises with doubles for bicep, tricep to finish it strong. That way you don't develop that common injury and uh, you have to be very careful later on and can't train like you used to. You have to be very careful because if you train too soon with a, with a joint issues, those issues just gonna stay with you and you're never gonna get better. So guys, this is all what I have for you for today. Muscle tips of the day, check it out. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below. You like, you like my videos? You have any questions? Hit me up. Workoutguru.net.